When you think of someone famous, you likely assume they have a lot of money. As we know, not all celebrities are necessarily as wealthy as they may seem. There have been countless actors and musicians and celebrities in general that have had issues with paying taxes or just lied to make themselves appear to be richer than they are. Either way, today we're counting down the top 10 cheapest celebrities and you guys may be incredibly surprised to find out who made this list. What's going on guys, Jared Bronstein on your screens right now. I'm today's host on Inform Overload and if you have not yet subscribed, you can do that right now. Be sure to follow the IO team on socials for updates that may not be big enough for a full video and stick around to the end of this one if you're a potato. We reply to comments if you're new here, but if you're a potato, you would know that by now. I will say, some may call the celebrities on this list cheap, while others may say they're just money conscious. You guys can ultimately decide which ones they are respectively, but in a nutshell, everyone on this list isn't going out to show everyone else how wealthy they are. Still, when you're worth hundreds of millions, and maybe you don't need like a student bank account. Either way, let's get into it. Starting us off at number 10, Ed Sheeran. That's right, one of the biggest musicians in the world who has an estimated net worth around 160 million is apparently tight with his money. Now considering how Sheeran is quite literally a rags to riches story, at one point he was even homeless, I'd understand why he doesn't just go out and spend his money like it's going out of style. When you've been living a certain way for so long, coming into money won't necessarily change you. In Sheeran's case, clearly not one to wear flashy jewelry or expensive brands, it's evident the money hasn't changed him. In a 2014 interview, he explained, I quote, I use my Barclays student account. I've not upgraded because I don't spend much money. If I had all my money in one account, I would spend all of it. So I get an allowance. And what could that allowance be? I quote, maybe a grand. I really don't spend much money. I spend most of it on taxis. Is he cheap or just money conscious? I'll let you guys decide. At number 9, Keanu Reeves. The Matrix star, who nowadays is likely better known as the star of John Wick, is known for being incredibly low key. We're talking casual style and overall, just the best guy in the world. You might even say he's breathtaking. It's no secret he's a big motorcycle guy and has a decent collection, yet for some reason the man has been seen on public transit numerous times. Most recently when a plane had to make an emergency landing, Reeves befriended the passengers on his plane and ended up taking a bus with them to Los Angeles. Afterwards, it's believed he went to a Carl's Jr. for a burger. Now you could say he's cheap or simply a humble guy who respects the value of a dollar. Maybe he just likes burgers. Either way, if my net worth was in the $350 million range, I'd probably just call a car or an Uber to take me to my destination. Maybe that's why Keanu has a net worth of $350 million and I still have school loans. Is he just cheap or smart with money? Because I'm clearly neither of those. <laughs> At number 8, Sarah Jessica Parker. The Sex and the City star came from quite humble beginnings and even though she has three holiday homes in the Hamptons with her husband Matthew Broderick, it seems to this day she's afraid of losing her fortune. And because of that, she's extremely careful with her money. She even said it herself, I quote, I could be profligate and super frugal. I have such a weird relationship with money. Sources claim that she also takes home all the clothes she wears as her character in the show Sex and the City, although she admits that it's simply for sentimental value. Still, it seems SJP likes free clothes, as it's been reported that she dresses her kids in hand-me-downs. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but when you're selling dresses and shoes on your website for like 350 bucks minimum, I don't know, I just think it's kind of seems weird to me to have your kids wear hand-me-downs. Like, I get it, she wants to teach them the value of a dollar, but it just seems like two extreme opposites. Like, why not have a brand that's affordable if you want it? I don't know. Maybe it's just me, guys. Let me know your thoughts. At number seven, PewDiePie. YouTuber? Yes. Celebrity as well? Yes. When you're the biggest YouTuber in the game, you're a bona fide celeb. In 2019, Pewds claimed to have a net worth around 25 million, yet he still seems to live an incredibly modest life. It's believed Pewds and his new wife, Marzia, have two homes, one in London and one in Japan. But still, unlike some other YouTubers who tend to show off how much they really make by driving around in flashy cars or wearing designer clothes, PewDiePie seems to have stayed true to his roots. Watching videos of Pewds from when he first started to one of his most recent uploads, it doesn't seem there's much difference in regards to how wealthy he appears. But as they say, don't judge a book by its cover. It's usually the ones that don't need to tell you how much money they have, in this case by showing it, that have the most. Now at six, Kristen Bell. She's been in the business for years and after landing the role of Anna in Frozen, you'd think Bell would be a little more frivolous with her spending. Aside from this, she's married to Dax Shepard, who's also done quite well for himself. Combined, they have tens of millions, yet still, Belle has proven she obviously doesn't care about a price tag, but instead, just likes the look of something. And I mean that in a humble way. Back in 2006, Belle attended a premiere wearing a $45 dress from Target. And let me just say, I respect that so much. You guys have no idea how many idiots I've seen wearing the ugliest looking shoes, shirts, hoodies, doesn't matter, and they simply wear it because it's Gucci. Now I'm not trying to judge anyone's style, and I truly believe your style is a way to express yourself, but at the same time, I don't fall for it when people wear things in hopes of impressing other people, not because they genuinely like it. 
Halfway at five here nightly. With an estimated net worth of $50 million, the Pirates of the Caribbean actor has certainly made a pretty penny over the course of her career. But still, she only gives herself a certain amount of money to spend every year. Almost like a salary that she pays herself, capping it at 50000 bucks. Aside from this, it's believed her wedding ceremony was incredibly low key, with a total of 12 guests at the town hall wedding. The reception was bigger with 50 guests total. Speaking with Glamour, Knightley said, I quote, Some of my best, most hilarious times have been in the least luxurious of places. However, she's not afraid to spend occasionally. I quote her saying, I could be not sensible and go and buy myself something ridiculous. I mean, if I want or need something that goes over the $50,000 mark, I get it. Now I will say, big difference between want and need, so that may determine how cheap she really is. You don't need a brand new Escalade, but you could want one. <laughs> At number 4, Hilary Swank, another successful actor who came from a tough childhood. Swank is known for hunting for a good deal and even using coupons. Now I think it's safe to say regardless of how much money you have, everyone likes a good deal. You could argue that when you're worth tens of millions, good deals are irrelevant, but still there's something about buying a product at a price cheaper than what it originally was intended to sell at. In regards to Hillary, she explained it best in 2010 saying, when you open the paper and see those coupons, it's like dollar bills staring you in the face. I mean, she's not wrong, regardless of how rich you are, if you see money on the ground, you're not going to pick it up. Then again guys, I will say one time I was at a bar, I saw a guy drop a $10 bill, another guy told him he dropped the 10, and the guy, trying to impress the girl he was with, literally responded with, nah, that's not mine, I don't care anything less than a 50. I, I'm not joking guys, I actually saw it happen before my eyes. I've also had people get insulted at a bar when I asked them to break a $50 bill, so maybe there are some people who wouldn't pick cash up off the ground, I don't know. Their loss. Up next to number three, Dave Grohl. When you're the lead singer of the Foo Fighters, an incredibly successful band, but also have ties to Nirvana, who are a part of musical history, well, it's no surprise Grohl has money. Yet it seems Dave stays true to his roots as well and genuinely enjoys just being a rock star. Sure, the money that comes with it is nice, but as they say, if you love what you do, you never have to work a day in your life. In a 2014 interview, Grohl explained where his money goes and how he spends it. Hint, he doesn't spend it at all. I quote him saying, it goes straight into my bank account where it turns all moldy and smelly. I don't waste my time thinking about how I can make more when I already got enough. If only more people had the mentality of Dave. Number 2 Tiffany Haddish Much like a lot of others on this list, Tiffany came from incredibly humble beginnings. At one point she was even homeless. So when she started making it big time, some other celebs were taken back to find out she was still rocking fake designer bags. Telling W Magazine, I quote, When I was shooting Girls Trip, I had a knockoff Michael Kors bag that said MLK instead of MK. Jada Pinkett Smith told me that I shouldn't have knockoff stuff. She actually recalled the time that the sun melted the lock off of her purse, and Jada explained as an A-lister, she can't be rocking fake stuff. Tiffany's response was not only smart, but incredibly money conscious. I quote, I told her that my philosophy is, whatever the bag costs, I should be able to keep that amount of cash in the bag. If it's a $300 purse, I have to put $300 cash in that purse. I do not want a bag that is more expensive than the cash I have to put in it. And even with the money, Haddish explained, I quote, When you're somebody like me, who's been homeless, clothes are not that important. Clothes are not a roof over my head, food in my stomach, my family's health. That's what money is for. Number 1 Michael Jordan The GOAT is notoriously known for gambling and betting his friends large sums of money over golf games. We're talking hundreds of thousands if not millions. Yet still, it seems when it comes to tips, the guy tends to just drop a 5. At least that was the case when MJ was hanging out with Wayne Gretzky, another GOAT, while at the Hard Rock in Vegas. Rich Strafella, VP of Operations for the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas explained, I quote, Michael had ordered a drink from the cocktail waitress and he gave her a $5 chip. Wayne took it off the cocktail waitress's tray, gave it back to Michael, grabbed a $100 chip from Michael's stack and put it on the cocktail waitress's tray. Then he said, that's how we tip in Las Vegas. He also once gave Charles Barkley a tough time when he saw Barkley handed money to a homeless man. I quote, there's nobody cheaper than MJ and Scottie Pippen. I always give homeless people money and MJ will always slap my hand and say, if they can ask you for spare change, they can say welcome to McDonald's, can I help you please? And that does it for the top 10 cheapest celebrities. Now I will say guys, a lot of these celebrities appear to be more money conscious than just cheap. It's also important to note that a lot of celebrities on this list have generously given to charity in the past, which further states that maybe they aren't so cheap, but more so don't value materialistic things, which leads to many believing that they are just stingy. Then again, when you're making tens of millions of bucks, why bother trying to save a few dollars when you're getting groceries? As always guys, let us know your thoughts down below. For now, I'm going to be replying to some comments from the video, Top 10 Celebrities That Left Hollywood To Live Normal Lives. Brett F said, just shows how much I don't keep up with celebrities, I didn't even notice any of these people left Hollywood. Yeah, I actually, Cameron Diaz was like the one that really stood out to me. I realized, I haven't seen her in like a film for I don't know how long. She kind of just stopped. But hey, as long as she's happy. Athalia Bynoe said, and this is why I low-key don't want to be famous. Your privacy is gone. 
I mean, to a certain extent, I feel like some people manage to just have a private life. I think it, you know, depends on your lifestyle. Like, I'm a big fan of Bradley Cooper, but I never really see him in the tap. I never really see him in tabloids that often. Uh, Johnny Depp, I know recently he's gone through a bit of a scandal, but he seems to be pretty low key. Like Leonardo DiCaprio, pretty low key. Then you got like the Kardashians who like call the paparazzi. So I think it depends who you are. Danielle Blessy said, I like Cameron Diaz. She got married in her living room with like 15 guests. That's sweet. I mean, again, it's like, I don't know. I, I think even with this list, to say that they're cheap, we don't necessarily know how much money they're actually spending. We're just making assumptions based on, you know, what we see. So I don't know, guys. I, I just want to make it clear. I'm not necessarily bashing anybody on this list. I don't think, I mean, maybe what Michael Jordan did is a little wrong. But for the most part, everybody else just seems to be more money conscious than cheap. So let us know your thoughts. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.